At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programs offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. Public courses are delivered in London, New York and Singapore. Our teachers are leading experts in their fields with a wealth of practical knowledge. They are skilled communicators who can get the message across quickly and effectively. There are two essential parts to any process of risk management. These are, firstly, risk measurement. This is understanding the price of financial instruments held and how the P&L of an institution could change as markets change or a new position is added. Risk measurement is useful both to traders and portfolio managers to ensure that they understand the risks that they are taking, but it is also useful to senior management to aggregate risk and to provide an insight into the positions of the firm as a whole. The second part of risk management is risk control. This is senior management's controlling the risks by, run by the managers of portfolios to ensure the ongoing viability of the financial institution. This takes place by placing limits on the amount of risk that can be taken and encouraging low levels of management to optimize the trade-off between risk and return. I now want to think about the components of risk measurement. These are, firstly, marking to market. Secondly, measuring so-called Greek-based risk exposures. This is the rate of change in value of your portfolio with changes in market prices, called delta, and other sensitivities, such as the sensitivity to volatility, called vega, or time decay, theta, or correlation and other Greek-based risk exposures, such as the curvature of exposures given by convexity and gamma. Another component of risk measurement is identifying the revenue sources. This is usually done by trying to explain the P&L and reconcile how the P&L relates to the Greek-based risk measures that have been identified. Other components of risk me measurement include VAR-based risk measures, potential losses at a given level of statistical confidence, confidence over a period of time. Also, measuring performance under stress scenarios. And investing and funding forecasts for the sources of your funding. These will be subjects of later sections within this training course. I now want to talk about risk control in a little bit more detail. Risk control is a mechanism to control risk to ensure risk optimization and the ongoing viability of a firm. It's normally achieved by several methods such as imposing stop loss limits, where losses exceeding a critical level all positions are liquidated, limits on position size and trade size, Limits on risk measures, such as limits on the Greeks and limits on value at risk. And limits on things like leverage and cash usage.